Yo, what up everybody? So today I'm gonna be ranking some rappers. Um, and basically how I did this was I just Googled best rappers and these were the dudes that came up. Now there was some more, but if I wasn't too familiar with the artist's work, I kind of just left them out because I didn't think it was fair to rank somebody that I wasn't too familiar with. So yeah, and um, you know, this is just my opinion. Um, yours could be greatly different. It's all good though. So let's jump into it. And I also have no idea where I'm putting uh, these guys yet. Well, some some people I know where they're going. Um, like Cardi B, for example. But for the most part, I don't know. Just I'm just gonna rank them off the top of my head right now. So yeah, let's let's jump into it. Let's start with 50 Cent. Now he's been around uh, for quite a while now, like shit, almost 20 years, I think, maybe even more. He had those two huge records in in the early 2000s: uh, "Get Rich or Die Trying" and "The Massacre." Great records. He proved himself to be. Um, a fantastic rapper over the years, so I think he gets a solid B. Snoop Dogg. Um, I don't like Snoop Dogg. I never really did. Um, he had a few good songs, Gin and Juice, Murder Was the Case, Who Am I? But I don't know. I just never thought he was that great of a rapper. He's like an okay TV personality, I guess. Um, I don't even really like him as a person, but I'm trying not to not let that influence my decision. But um, I just don't think he's that great of a rapper. So I'm going to give him a D. Um, okay, Nas. Okay, so Nas, like Snoop Dogg, I was never the biggest fan of, but... I recognize how talented and just how amazing this, um, you know, his lyrics and his flow, they're just incredible. And, you know, Illmatic and it was, it was written are just classic albums. And I like, um, One Mic and If I Rule the World and, New York State of Mind. I'm just not like the biggest fan, but I respect him. So I think I'm going to give him a C. Okay, so. Um, who should I do next? Let's do Andre. Andre 3000, aka half of Outcast. Just like 50 Cent, this guy blew up in the early 2000s. Even though Outkast was, they were putting out records since the early 90s, but they really took off in the 2000s. And he just has such a unique flow. Um, Yeah, I mean, he's just a ton of good songs. I'm going to give him a B. Okay, so let's do Kendrick Lamar. I was going to leave him off this list because I wasn't, like super familiar with his catalog but I recently listened to Damn in 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 its entirety and that's just such a like perfect record and it's so rare for there to be perfect records anymore so yeah just his lyrics his flow the beats um Super inspiring, super emotional. Um, but I'm not entirely familiar with all his work, but I can definitely see myself liking this guy. So I'm gonna give him a C with a disclaimer that that could easily turn into a B if I listen to more of his stuff. Okay, so Eminem. Everyone knows who Eminem is. I feel like 
no matter what what um genre of music you like you probably like a few Eminem songs um I kind of like when he's a little more serious and angry than when he's like you know like his funny songs um but I mean he's a legend so he gets an A shit so who else do we got here Nicki Minaj okay so don't dislike this video but I think Pink Friday is one of the best records ever made I can't believe it's almost 10 years old now but so many good songs on that album Moment for Life um, Right Through Me Your Love I'm the Best Roman's Revenge and she and she just featured on so many different tracks it's insane and uh her verse on monster come on that that shit's one of the best rap verses ever b okay j cole i don't know i never really got this guy he has, I like um, Premeditated Murder, Crooked Smile, even though that video annoys the hell out of me because it has absolutely nothing to do with the song, like, at all. It's a good video. It's, I mean, it's, like, really cinematic and tells a, an interesting story, but nothing to do with the song. But I'm just ranting. Um, yeah, J. Cole, talented, I recognize that, but just not my thing, D. Okay, so, Lauren Hill. So, Lauren Hill is a tough one, because she really only had one album, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Um... You know, she had, and the work with the Fugees. She's crazy talented. She can rap, and her singing is... I mean, I think she's a better singer than she is a rapper, but she can do... She can do both crazy well. So, with that being said, I'm going to give her a C. Okay, we're narrowing things down. Dr. Dre. So, I mean, Dr. Dre hasn't put out a ton of work. I mean, he did, you know, he was with NWA and The Chronic and 2001 were classic albums. Um, but he's probably more recognized for his producing credits than his rapping. At least in my opinion. He's an okay rapper. Um, you know, not the best, but he's definitely decent. So I'm going to give him a C. So our Lord and Savior, Kanye West... Um, not the biggest fan. I feel like I said that uh, so many times already. But um, his first album, The College Dropout, is just that's an amazing record. So many hits: Jesus walks, all falls down, never let me down through the wire, slow jams, new workout plan. Uh. And he's, I mean, a lot of people don't like him, but you can't deny he's not super talented as a rapper and a producer. Um, yeah, so I think he deserves a B. I think that's fair. 
Who should we do next? How about Drake? Mr. Emotional. So Drake, I don't know why, but he kind of has like, he kind of gives me like nostalgia because his early records, um, I forgot the name of the album that has uh, Successful and Best I Ever Had. Is that So Far Gone? And um, Thank Me Later. I don't know why. Whenever I listen to those records, it kind of brings me back to, you know, 10 years ago and a girl I was seeing and just some good times. And this guy does so many different genres. Like, he can rap... He could, um, you know, he does like dance hall and pop and R&B. He doesn't particularly shine very well at at any of them, but he does them all decent enough. So, oh man, I don't know where to put him though, because he's like... I really love his beats, but he's he's just so boring sometimes. I wish there was like a C plus, but I don't know. I guess he's a low B. Okay, Little Wayne. I love Little Wayne. I think he was like he was like the next milestone in rap, if you ask me when the Carter 3 came out in 2008 I believe I first saw the music video to a Millie and I never heard a track like that and I got into his whole catalog and people who say that he can't rap or auto tune whatever yo listen to BMJR Alphabet Bitches Block is Hot Swag Surfing I mean, Little Wayne is great. A. Okay. So, Cardi B. I mean, what can I say about Cardi B? She's easily the best rapper to to ever step in a recording studio. So, without a doubt, S. Yeah. Okay. She's horrible. I don't like her at all. F. Um, okay, so we're left with Biggie, Tupac, and Jay-Z. I kind of left these three for, I, at the end on purpose for obvious reasons. They're often considered to be the three best. So I kind of know where they're going. So let's start with Jay-Z. He's been around, oh shit, his first album, Reasonable Doubt, I want to say came out in like 96. So he, he's been in the business 23 years, ton, a ton of hits. He's like the best of old school and new school. It's so crazy to think that he was putting out records, you know, during the Biggie time. So it's just, you know, it's insane. And you no, know, he's still putting out hits. Um, I love how like he uses a lot of real, real instruments in his beats. You know, like live bands and you know, shit like that. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's great. Jay-Z gets an A. So we're left with Biggie and Tupac. Okay, so I was born, raised, and reside in Brooklyn. I'm in Brooklyn right now. I love Biggie. It's a shame that he only put out two albums. 
you know, obviously a legend. Um, I think his best track, though, is he actually does the hook on a Little Kim song called Drugs. Um, if you haven't, check that out because he does the hook on it and it's it's just so good. Yeah, I mean, his flow was incredible. Um, his lyrics could either be like fun and more lighthearted or they can be super dark. Um, so with that being said, I give Biggie an A. So we're left with Pac. Um, Pac is one of my favorite artists of all time. I think he's the best rapper. I mean, he has so many great songs. Hail Mary, How Do You Want It, I Ain't Mad At You, Dear Mama, Ghetto Gospel, Life Goes On, I Get Around, Keep Your Head Up, Baby Don't Cry, and the list just keeps on going. It's crazy in such a short time career what this man accomplished he is the best rapper of all time s so yeah guys this is just um my opinion if you disagree let me know why in the comments and i hope you enjoyed it thanks